Hello! Today we're going to learn how to emboss filigree designs into our Lumens Hard Light EVA foam. And I first got the inspiration for this technique after using it on a three ounce weight tooling leather. And I decided it would be a great application for EVA foam armor for tiny details on a bodice or breastplate. So let's get started. Our main tool for this will be the Cricut Cuddlebug, which is an embossing tool for scrapbooking and other paper craft materials. But I found that this little guy is quite a workhorse as I have put up to an eight ounce tooling leather inside of this, which is pretty incredible. So first, we're gonna need our embossing folder. The Cuddlebug uses these folders to imprint the design onto our foam paper leather. And as you can see, it has a variety of textures and you can buy these folders individually depending on the design or project. So after choosing your texture, I'm gonna put my foam inside my folder and my next tool will be these hard plexi plates. So these are gonna sandwich onto my folder and press my design as I crank it through the cuddle bug. So I'm, the plates come in different widths, as you can see, and the width you're gonna use depends on the thickness of your material. So I think this time I'm going to use I think I'm going to use the C size and put it inside. And if you need a little extra thickness, you can always put different materials on top or etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. So here we go. Let's see if this is what we need. And I want a little bit of resistance inside onto my plates as the pressure is the most important and what is going to give me a nice print. And if I'm not sh quite sure that that went through the machine well, I can always crank it through one more time. There we go. Okay, I feel the pressure on that one. So let's see how that did. Nice. So I don't know if you can see that, but it got some really nice embossing onto my foam, which once it's painted and added with a little ink wash or other weathering technique, you can really see the design nice and shaded. And another tool along with the embossing folders I found is you can use these tiny metal filigree um, findings a lot of cosplayers really enjoy these. And these will also imprint a nice design onto your foam. And I'm just gonna use it in the same way that I did the folder. I can actually use this in conjunction with the folder. I can put it inside of the folder with the foam for a continuous design, or if I just want the singular metal design, I can use it solo. Uh, for this, this time, I think I'll just use it solo. So I'm going to put it in between my plates. And I think, I think I can use, hmm, I'm going to use the thick plate and these plates together. And I think that'll give me the nice, yes, the good resistance. So here we go. Let's hope that that gives us a nice design. Probably could use a tiny bit more, tiny bit more layering, but it's, oh, I think it'll be fine for this tutorial. Let's see how that looks. So, nice. So I hope you can see 
that detail. So I did pick up the filigree and it'll look very nice once it's painted. As you can see, I did the same technique using a combination folder and filigree for this piece. And it gives a nice differentiation in the texture. So I can't wait. I hope that this tutorial it inspires you to create and thank you Arta Wigs and Lumens Workshop for the materials.